She exit my house. As soon as the door closes, I fall on my knees and I gasp for air. I stand up. There's no need for me to feel this way. Everything went well. I wrote a good point for the festival. And Monica enjoyed her time here. I shake my head. I'll just enjoy the festival tomorrow and forget about everything. Hopefully. Are Natsuki and Larry still spending time together? I can't help but imagine two of them having fun. I'm sorry. With a second thought I go outside. I want to see what they're doing. I keep imagining things that I don't want to see. It's the problem my imagination. Those dreams, those hallucinations. Suddenly Larry's door opens. He and Natsuki walk out. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Eh? What you said before about not always having this chance? It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that... You can come over eight time, okay? I think if that is... I think that if possible I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. I'm not taking it any more breaks. This has to be close to the end. It has to be. Um, do you really mean that? See, instantly staring at Larry. I shouldn't be seeing this. It's none of my business. So why won't my legs move? Why do I have to stay here and watch this? Is this another punishment? Yeah. I want to spend more time with you. Larry, I thought you only cared about getting this done. Mm. I'm sorry I had to leave so early today. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you so. Natsuki slowly takes a step towards Larry. Before he, her face approaches his, I close my eyes. I'm witnessing something I'm not supposed to see. What if they spot me? I ruin everything. Wait, Natsuki. There's no noise. Don't tell me. Don't tell me Natsuki is kissing, Larry. Why do I feel this sudden urge to scream? My heart drops. I felt it for a while now. I hear Natsuki stumble. Did something go wrong? Sayori? Eh. No. No, there's no way I just got myself into this situation. Did I really just ruin Larry's moment with Natsuki out of pure selfishness? I'm a horrible person. Being selfish is horrible. But ruining other people's lives is just something I can't live with. I awkwardly wave at Natsuki. Uh, Hi, Larry. Sayori. Just now, we weren't... I feel I'm going to collapse on the ground any second now. I don't understand what I'm feeling. Guilt? Jealousy? Sadness? It's like all of these emotions are being mixed inside of my head. <laughs> it's okay, Larry. I just stopped by to say hi. Ah, uh, well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... I know she's trying to be nice, but I can't hear the hatred in her voice. She must hate me so much. Oh, really? That's too bad. Why does everything I say sound so sarcastic? I don't want to act this way, but how am I supposed to behave after what I've done? Yeah, well... I'll stay, still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any of any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Natsuki hurries off. I wave her goodbye, but she doesn't face me. Did I just ruin the friendship I had with Natsuki? I hate myself so much. Larry looks confused. It looks like he doesn't really understand what happened. Sayori... 
I thought you didn't want to come over today. He looks angry. Does he hate me too? Let's have to tell him the truth. <laughs> well, I tried staying, staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki? And how close you got to her? I want to slap myself. What I'm saying makes me look like a, such a bad friend. I'm sure I won't even talk to me again after this. It makes me really happy that you made such a good uh, such good friends. That's all that matters to me. I can't keep lying anymore. I don't want to be replaced. I want Larry to love me. I want to feel happy. I have him out of this void. It's getting worse and worse every day. Enough. Enough. I can feel a real tear roll down my cheek. Is this the only thing I can do? Cry? That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way? I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is bleeding in half? It hurts so much. <coughs> Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. It's, it feels like all the hidden pain I had to keep inside for all these years is finally coming out. I can't stop it. All those ways that I was putting on a fake smile. To end it like this. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Larry. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You, you wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... What am I saying? Monica never said anything like that. I'm trying to blame someone else because I'm too weak to fight. Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But I can't look at him. I just can't. How can he force himself to be, to like me when I'm such a horrible friend? Suddenly he puts his hand on my shoulders. I want to back off, but I can't. I want to stay next to him. I'm scared. I'm really scared. What are you scared of? I'm scared that I might like you more than I than you like me. No! I didn't want to say this. No, no. We can't. I can't tell him about that. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Larry, I like you so much that I want to die. That's how horrible how I feel. And, and. We can't stop. Please, please, please. End this. End this pain. That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. Larry slides his hand down my arm and tightly squeezes my hand. I want to hug him so much. Please, please tell me everything will be okay. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? I just nod. What is he planning to say? Will he end up getting hurt too? Even if you don't understand your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now. And that's what I'm going to give to you. He thinks for a second and looks at me. Sayori, I love you. Really? Huh? I legit thought you... I, I honestly thought rejecting Sayori was the one that caused, caused her to go off, but 
I was expecting to get rejected. I... yeah. Eh? Did... Did I hear that right? This is possible. It must be a dream. Another hallucination. Some kind of illusion. I'm going to wake up any second now, right? Those are my true feelings. So, there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club, making new friends, and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you truly are the most important person to me. That's why I'll sex any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side, then I know we'll both be happy. I don't think I hug him tighter than ever. I don't ever want to let go of him. I don't care if this is real or if it's not. This is what it, is this what it feels like? To be happy? It's like pain, all the pain suddenly vanished. Is this really okay? Yeah. Pulls me closer. Feeling spread on my neck and his arms around me. I feel safe. I feel like nothing bad is, uh, will happen ever again. But I feel so guilty. Not to you should be the one hugging Larry, not me. I said it's something awful. You'll never have to let go of me again. I love you. I want to be with you forever. Me too. This time I didn't have a drink, so fuck you, you failed. So you really did it. You told him. You should be ashamed, betraying your friend and e being an even bigger burden to the, for the person you love. You could have fixed the problem, but you decided to make it worse. You worthless thing. This thing... No, no, I should be all... I should only be feeling happiness right now. No, please, please, don't take my happiness away. Let me be happy with him, please. What is this, Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? Even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? They're not going any away at all. It's okay. Might take some time for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Okay, I trust you. I can't think properly. Even though Larry's words are so genuine, I can't seem to accept them. How can things get better? I hurt everybody. Larry let, slowly lets go of me. So... I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it, as it, as it always has been. Even if we really are a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. We'll go through whatever pace suits you the best. All the happiness I felt is now filled with sorrow. Love's sorrow. How ironic. Hey Larry. I look up. I look at Larry trying to smile. Why can't I manage a genuine smile? I should be able to do this by now. Even if I get really sad, this is the best thing for me. Right? Eh? Are you saying that this is making you feel sad? How can I explain it? How can I tell him that I disappointed everyone and that the short life's happiness I felt was due to my own selfishness? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Smart. He, he smiles at me and squeezes my hand. Yeah. I do. That's my promise. I glance at him again I turn around, heading for my house. He smiles at me one last time before going towards his own house too. 
I sit at my desk. So this is it. I told Larry how I felt. What have I done? What have I done? This is all my fault. I start sobbing. I, I've disappointed all the people I know. I heard Natsuki while she was about to experience the happiest moment of her life. I heard Larry by adding another burden for him to deal with. I heard Monica even though she was trying to be trying her best to help me this afternoon. I even heard Jury by acting selfish at your role. In the end I'm nothing but a failure. A failure. You're a failure. One cut. Two cuts. Ten cuts. I get cutting my arm until I can't hold my scissors anymore. Why am I doing this? It's hopeless. I deserve pain. More pain. Always more pain. My arm is nothing but a mix of blood and sweat. The sight of my own blood doesn't even scare me. Shit. I deserve this. It's the only thing I have ever deserved. Being next to Larry isn't something that should have happened to me. It should have happened to Natsuki. I stand up, I go to the bathroom. I wash my arm under the sink for a few minutes. Why can't physical pain make me forget about emotional pain? I feel so nauseous. I just want to disappear. Suddenly I end up drawing in the toilet. You... You worthless. Without even finishing my sentence I start crying. I'm so noisy. Is this what despair sounds like? I wish I was the only one feeling this pain. No one deserves this. Nobody. Except me. All my fault. Now this would have happened without me. Maybe these hallucinations I've been having have been telling me the truth. Maybe they weren't to, there to scare me, but to help me. I lay down on my bed. My arm hurts so much, but my mind is far wor in wa far worse condition. Sleep is my only escape for now. I'm so... I'm so sorry, Larry. I ended up hurting you, because I was too weak. My faith is just...